Hey flowers and welcome back to the Not to Bay Legacy Challenge. So in today's episode, I really wanted to focus on Nesbitt and Ryland's relationship because I'm so desperate to get to the next stage of this challenge. That means marriage and babies. <laughs> and Rylan is our best candidate to have a baby with. And so I really want to make that happen as quickly as possible. So in this point, we might get engaged. Who knows? I mean, I'm just throwing that out there. But a bit of housekeeping. Uh, we finished, we're on the last stage of the no grade aspiration. So we're almost done with the aspiration. I'm very excited. And I think once we finish that one, which is a requirement for the not so very uh, mint life, we can also pick another aspiration. I'm thinking with her, she would her next one would be the child that's the child parent one because according to the mint one she really loves luxury and she wants the best for her family and her friends and so i think she would be a sort of overbearing a but affectionate parent so i think the, the parenting skill aspiration would be a really good aspiration for her let's see when it comes to her skills we got level nine in the rocket skills and we are level 4 in mischief, level 6 in logic, and we are also level 6 in handiness. Those are the big main ones, logic, mischief, and handiness. Those are the ones we need to max out. And for her career, we are still level 5, but she had a breakthrough. So we're, like, we're getting close to promotion time. And the, the breakthroughs that she had was really cool, so I might go and work with her the next time so we can actually build it. It's called the Cloney Machine and a, a technological marvel. This sleek scanning platform functions as a matter replicator using science. Can I clone Nesrin? Is this a thing I can do? Can I really clone her? Because if I can clone Nesrin, that's it. <laughs> cut, cut the cameras. But today, I really want to focus on her relationship with Violet and trying to get that up as quickly and organically as possible she says as she comes to the romance festival with the romance festival it's basically quick hacks when it comes to romances in the sense for you get them feeling flirty you do a little romance and they end up proposing and i feel like i feel like we could do a proposal here you know i'm really excited to have another sim in our household to play around with and i just want this to happen okay so <laughs> A proposal might be imminent. Don't judge me. <laughs> but watch these. Let's watch these sweet kids. You know, doing some tea. Who are you? I mean, your dress is really cute. Elsie Giordano. It sounds Italian. It sounds fancy. But let's request romance girl wisdom. Yes. Let's ask this man. Do you believe me, Ryland would have cute babies? I believe the answer is yes. <laughs> Where did he go? Look at him, he's dancing. He stands, he's so close near to the altar. I think Violence also said that we should get engaged today. We have five hours to get the relationship high enough that Violent will accept a proposal. I'm not very confident with our ability to do that. But you know it's The Sims. And I feel like we could. No, do we also want to do a quick marriage? That is an option. <laughs> now, I think a proposal will be okay because a proposal will give us reason to have Violet in our household. Oh my gosh, where did he go? Violet, I need to let have eyes on you at all times. Okay. Bye, my school for being a genius. A life without love is not the one worth building. Okay, so I think he gave us a, his blessing. Um, through our petals, we're just gonna lay it out on Ryland. We're gonna be like, listen, dude. Declare healing motion passion. Yes. All the passion. All the romance. I am a romance expert, okay? I know how to uh, get a man. <laughs> but, we're gonna get Ryland, we're gonna get them proposed. Not marriage. Maybe marriage in two episodes? Oh, and if Rylan moves in with us, we can pretend- Should we move in in Rylan's house or our house? Because I like our house, but our house is a bit small and we do want babies. I think we can get like a loan from the bank for like 20, 20 simoleons. And we're like, hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> can we have money 
to actually go away you're trying to flirt <laughs> I'm like hey can we have money to build a house and not and when I say build a house I mean find a cute house in the gallery and then link it, link it in the description below because I can't build <laughs> Violet is being a difficult man but it's fine ask to be boyfriend yes ask to be boyfriend yes yes Let's get it! Come on, Nazrin. You say yes? Of course he's gonna say yes. It's Nazrin, guys. How, why would he say no? Great, now that we're boyfriends, here at the moment proposal, you do not have a high enough moment to propose. Okay. That's fine. We're gonna work on a romance. Do we need to have woohoo? We will woohoo in the bush if that gives us the romance that we need. Okay, I will really to do that. That sounds so disgusting. And honestly, if you did that, wouldn't you get like branches and leaves and stuff stuck in your nether regions? That doesn't really sound like a fun time, you know? But desperate times calls for desperate actions. And if we need to woohoo in the bus a bush so that we have high enough romance with Violin that he will accept our heated passion proposal, then oh <laughs> Wait, do we know everything about him? Yes, we know everything about Violet. He's a botanist. Oh, we could we have a work from home job, see? We oh we can get like a farm with a lot of cow plants. Listen, Violin is Violin's everything I wanted. You know? Does this seem like a little fast? Yes, she just spoke with this day at two episodes ago um and we really went from a hate to love to marriage type of situation with Rylan but I'm not mad at it and we'll get another cat you know Rylan has another cat Luna and Apollo they could make babies too like honestly Rylan I don't see any downsides to marrying Rylan and if we're gonna get engaged to Violet, <laughs> we gotta figure out where we're gonna live. Um, and we'll I'll probably do that before the next part, is like, build them a new house. I'm thinking we might move Violet into our household, because I believe Zazen has the bigger lot. And then we'll just get a loan of 20,000 and 20 grand to build their new house. I say build, I use that term build very lightly. I don't know how to build. Would you guys want to see me build? I had this idea for a series and it's watching me fail as build challenges. Because build challenges, if you watch a lot of game changers and very influential simmers on the channel, on YouTube, they do a lot of build challenges. And But I have no skills. Honestly, I really don't know how to build. When it comes to the sims, I have said this multiple times, I like creating the sims playing the story and decorating them and making and, ha and playing that lifestyle i'm not i wouldn't even say i'm a family uh a family simmer either i just like making sims and telling different stories with my characters i don't really build <laughs> so would it be i thought it'd be really funny if i took these really hard build challenges that you see these really good builders on the platform struggling with and then have me, a noob, attempt them. <laughs> and maybe I'll get better. No, I highly doubt that. <laughs> but I also, I have been working on a new s characters for a new Let's Play. Um, hopefully it's great. I don't know, so as I talked about last part, I was considering even doing a Black Widow challenge or a modernized Disney Princess challenge. Uh, I think me, I tend to be really slow when it comes to last place as we see we're 10 parts and we have no babies. <laughs> um, so I am going to try to like go quicker. I think part of that's because I am on the long lifespan, but that's just because I want to make sure I can get everything done. Usually, I switch between long and normal, uh, generally when I need to age them out because of kids and stuff. And he's open to kids. Guys, we're proposing to Violin. 
I'm sorry. Not really. Why was a catch? Okay. He is a farmer. He lives with his cat. The man wants children. You know, he doesn't hate us anymore. He actually likes us, you know. You gotta you gotta you gotta catch them. You gotta Yeah catch the bag if you understand what I'm saying. So what's the proposal? What do you mean? <laughs> I want the proposal! Game! Game! Listen. Listen, game. We need to have a conversation because I would like to propose to my boyfriend of five hours. I'm not moving too fast. Nesman's not moving too fast. This is adequate speed. Okay, five hours in Sims is like five years. So, um,. <laughs> so really, this is just, it's the natural step of the relationship. Five hours is nothing. It, honestly, chum change. <laughs> Nesrin, get up! Nesrin, stop talking to him and go propose to him! Oh my god, what if he says no? I mean, our friendship is pretty high and our relationship is pretty high. I really think he'll say yes. Why is it not going? Oh my god, Sims game, stop freezing. Oh, he's doing it, he's doing it. You guys, we gotta watch this. You better say yes. Violet, you better say yes. Oh, he said yes. Kiss. Beautiful. Wonderful. I'm so glad. <laughs> and we have a sentiment. And Violet has used the bathroom. Um, <laughs> What's a new sentiment though? Violin's in deeply in love. See, you guys, I wasn't moving that fast. He's deeply in love with her. Okay. Okay, it's fine. Some romantic moments leave a powerful impression. Yes, getting engaged should leave a powerful impression. And Violin will never forget how he felt even deeper in love with Nesbitt. Uh huh. All were together for five hours. <laughs> and Nesbitt feels deeply connected with Violin. That's awkward. Violent's deeply in love with her, and that's like I feel, I feel a deep connection, you know, a, a deep one. <laughs> this is not gonna end up in divorce. I promise. This is love. But like they're engaged. Oh, it's so cute. And we're gonna go home. See, guys, elope and meet y'all. Should we get married? Nah, but Nesrin deserves a wedding, a wedding, a whole shebang. I kind of want to just do it right now, though. We could really just have a wedding. Nah, nah, we we deserve it. Nesrin deserves the full, the full mess that is a wedding. We'll plan the venue, the dress, the looks, the vibes. We can have a whole Disney, we can Disney montage that ish. Okay? <laughs> so why don't you just. Oh yeah! Celebrate Rylan getting married to you. He's getting married to you. That's really a confident. Good job. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations on getting married to me. <laughs> That's such a confident thing. Oh my. She's a, she's a confident queen. What can I say? Ask about person. Oh, we'll finally learn his personality type too. Because he will be in our household. I think he's an introvert. That's what I feel in my soul. He's an introvert. But uh, but he could be an extrovert too. No, Violent screams introvert to me. That's what, I, that's what I believe. Yeah, that's what I believe. I believe that he is an extra, an introvert, an introvert. Okay, this lot is being really buggy. So, I think ask to join household. Should we really ask Rylan to move in? No, I want... I want to... Uh, and Rylan feels miserable. Why do you feel miserable? What? I'm still learning on myself. Okay, that's fine. We're just gonna go home. I think that was a success. 
so yeah we're just gonna go home and i'm gonna do some farming for a minute and then i'll come back at some point <laughs> okay guys i did a lot of stuff off screen so the lot may look different um but welcome violin to the household isn't violin um and luna soon the whole family will be the elliots but for now nesvin castallion is still a thing um we got a new so as you guys saw nesvin had about three thousand simoleons in the bank and violin had forty thousand. i didn't know this man had money like that so with his company his um job the p is a uh was it a level five botanist so his company um allowed him they gave him a housing stipend because he's like oh congratulations on you you know your engagement so they gave him a housing stipend so he upgraded Nesvin's house for them to live in and their future children so let me get you a little lowdown so here is the level bottom portion we got this really cute seating area we got two kitty bowls we got two cats now and we got this little seating area as well here is the kitchen slash dining um i really it's like a japanese inspired i use a lot of the stuff from the snowing escape pack and here this basic all snowing escape pack um so actually i didn't make this house as you guys know i got this house off of the gallery um by sarah amina but they also make videos on youtube and their channel is sims for creation and the name of this lot is blue cottage and i will link um the i will link the youtube channel in the description below um all the stuff i edited was um the kitchen and this greenhouse area because it wasn't necessary greenhouse and i edited the backyard added some little um topiaries and then i didn't touch this area and i added i just added things um here's the the bottom we got the, i really like the kitchen i took i think the kitchen's the longest thing i did I was trying to find a color that matched the wood flooring. I think I picked this house because of the flooring, to be honest. I really like the flooring. And I really like this front area. And also, it really wanted the cottage vibe that they both kind of had. Um, I had to, like, match their, both of their housing personalities together. And this was the best compromise I could do. I think Nesvin was cooking something. Um, why don't you serve dining bowls? Sure. And then upper we got a two bedrooms. We got the main bedroom and a single bedroom for the eventual child. So I really like how this one had a two bedroom. Uh, let's see, sign left side. Let's keep on in the left side, and Nesvin will get. The right side so in the greenhouse i made this area specifically for violin just because he is a botanist and so i wanted him to have a place that was just for him so let's see he actually actually needs fruits so we'll get some first fruits Food -food -foods. let's see also you guys don't know his aspirations so he wants to be friends with the animals that's so cute and he'll be friendly with animals 12 times we can totally do that for you bugaboo um he's all these people he knows so yes he can he's close with callum and actually luna is his cat paula is also his new cat and then hysteria he's acquainted with hysteria luna's an affectionate cat oh let's see and then his personality he doesn't have any lifestyle but traits He's a performer. I was so wrong. He is an e. Yeah, he's an introvert. Wow. So he's a performer. He is an ES ESFP, and I have a call. Nesvin's an I. Yeah, Nesvin's an ISTP. That's insane. But like, they both have P's, right? And they both have S's. So they're somewhat compatible. 
but the performer is spontaneous, energetic, and enthusiastic people. Life is never boring around them. Popular hobbies for ESFPs include socializing, team sports, home improvement projects, cooking, entertaining, games, and dance. ESP love big parties and gatherings and are quickly to join any group or activity that sounds like fun. Honestly, that does sound like Rylan though, so I'm not even gonna front. Rylan is a bit older than Ezwin, so he has 62 days to age up, and Ezwin has what, 71 days? 70 days, yeah, he's about 12 days older than Ezwin, so I would say in human terms, that would be about 10 years. But it's not bad, it's just, you know, logic. Uh, Rylan, why don't you come and grab some food? But like we have, off we have like a family now, and like we got kitties and Apollo, and this is so cute. But anyway, Violent's now in our house. This is the biggest thing that happens now. <laughs> now we have Violent. Um, we got so many things. Look at all this. He has a he has cow plant. But oh, should we play a cow plant? I kind of wanna. I kind of wanna plant the cow plant, but also I'm kind of scared that the cow plant would, you know, like eat us. But if you guys want, I can totally plant the cow plant. <laughs> but like that's so. Oh my god! Look at Luna. And Nesson had her tenth breakdown. What is? What is? She, what does she had? A breakdown. <laughs> Breakthrough. I hope she's not having breakdowns. That would be unfortunate. A uh, scientist career. Simlify. Drink the serum to make your sims slimmer. My sims are perfectly fit. But I think now Apollo and Luna can. I think Apollo's a girl. Apollo's a boy. Luna's a girl. So I'm thinking that maybe they could meet. Um. Hopefully. But look at this. It's like what a new chapter, guys. Mm, I think in the next part we'll plan their wedding. <laughs> I think that's something we should do. Um, and honestly, maybe get Nesman pregnant. I don't know. I'm really vibe. What is this? But. What? She sure has all of them in here, does she? Hmm. Let's see. Are these new ones? Okay, let's see if any of these are new that we don't have. Olga always saying she sculpted. A large bear sculpture, a dragon sculpture, and a horse. They're like so good with their hands, both of them. I feel like, um... I feel like they would be really good pants. Oh, a new one! Wonderful, that was new. Oh, it's not letting me place them. I guess we can actually see. Hold on. We just there's there's so much stuff in our inventory now because of um, Apollo. I mean, because of Rylan. Let's see. This is new. Uh, Ozonite and Plathium. Those are the new ones. Ozonite and platinum. Okay. And that's it. And the kitties are kind. But why? Oh my gosh. I hope you guys like each other. Please don't fight. Look at them. They're so cute though. I'm so excited about this. I don't think you guys can understand. It's just we've been it's been ten parts, so I'm really glad we're in the next phase of Nesvin's life and that includes having a pop violin and Luna in our life. And I think that is the best thing, honestly. So I don't know, I guess there's not much left to do in this episode. We've done a lot. We got engaged 
and moved in Violin and Luna into the household. Violin's broken right now. Lit. <laughs> I love the sounds. Okay, thank you. Why don't you fill that, please? Stop being broken. Wonderful. Um, but I'm really excited just to have, you know, the new phase in Nesman's life. It's, we've been, you know, stagnant, not doing what we could be doing, but now we are, now she's engaged. <laughs> and she has more cats. So honestly, I'm excited. So I think, I think this is the best place on this episode. There's not much going on. Oh no, Apollo did not like it. <laughs> Apollo said no. He's taking away from me, you're not my mom. Oh my god, look at Luna. Luna, I need you to get off, please. What's wrong, Luna Bear? I hope, I hope Apollo's being nice. Oh, they're both affectionate cats, too. Oh, look at her. She needs some cuddles. <laughs> I like how both of them are affectionate cats. That makes me happy. I, because I always thought I wanted cats, you know? But my dad is, like, very against cats. He's, like, they're evil. I did have a bad experience with cats when I was, like, a baby. Um, both of my parents had cats, and they didn't react well when my parents had brought me home from the hospital. Um, who's this weirdo? Go away! Uh, but, um, I would thought if I moved out, I would get cats. I just know cats are easier. But no, these two are definitely cat people, for sure. Oh. I'm just really excited. Nesman finally has someone who loves and appreciates her and who truly, truly, truly cares for her in a way that um, Asteria couldn't. I think that is the best ending to this ep episode. <laughs> I'm gonna let these bad boys sleep and we'll. So let me know, Files, if you like this episode. If you did like it, please leave a like and comment down below anything and everything all your thoughts i am here to read them all and if you are new to my channel hello i'm hyacinth and if you liked what you just the video you just saw please subscribe if you want to see more videos in the future i post mainly on tuesdays and thursdays and occasionally monday and wednesdays thank you so much flowers and i'll see you in the next one goodbye <laughs>